What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Comic Fix, where tonight I'm talking about Cold Spots, issue number three. Now, I have a thing where I give a comic three issues to impress me. And with the first two issues of Cold Spots, I was not all that impressed. I, I felt like that there's a long story that's being really drawn out. But I gave hope that Colin Bunn can turn it around. And with issue number three... This is the last chance. And what does it do? It kicks it out of the ballpark. All the setup, the slowness of it all, has finally paid off with issue number three. Especially with the first page, where you know shit's about to go down. I just love the just the way that the artwork is in this. The just it's so beautiful. And it just it, it grabs you at the very beginning when you see these spirits all around the house. And you're just like, okay, it's about to go down. And you have a story here where you've been following this man who's been tasked by a rich, rich man to go and get his daughter. He doesn't really care about the daughter. More, he cares about his grandchild. And he wants the grandchild away from his mother because the mother has kind of gone on a strange path where she's kind of got into this little cult. And he wants his granddaughter to be free from all that craziness. So he tasks this man who come to find out that the, this child is his daughter. And this, I love how the artwork depicts this man who finds out he has a daughter and he hasn't been around at all, well, because he doesn't know about her, but the guilt as she's just beating down on him, trying to manhandle him, to just strongman him into leaving. And you have just this guilt that's looked upon his face that's just, it's so beautiful the way that the artist could depict that. And then you got this weird cult type people coming in and being like, he can see the child. Everything will be okay. And you just tell, no, no, everything's not going to be okay. And you just get that slow pace, but you know that something's building up and it's about to pop. And it does. When you see this man meet his child for the very first time and you see her face that is emotionless and just looking at him as he's talking to his little girl just the pain that looks like on his face the concern the the grief of him not knowing that he has not been there for his little girl even though he wanted to that's something that just grabs at you just from a human element and i just love how he just look the look of concern and he doesn't tell her right away that he's his that she that she is his kid. But once these ghost-like creatures come out at him, he does the only thing that a parent should do. Where the mother is just in fear of these monsters. She, he goes and grabs her and tries to protect her. But of course you can just see from her look. She just doesn't even realize that the monsters are there. So it makes you question. Is she controlling these creatures these ghostly spirits or are they trying to possess her it's there's so much questions still about <clears throat> you kind of wonder how are they going to finish this up and just like the look i love just the artwork and how just the faces the the emotion that's coming off of this guy's face is just beautiful stuff and it just it, it makes you just grab onto this character who's thrown into a situation that just is so dire. And all he wants to do is to protect his girl. This girl that he never knew about before. And but now his he just wants to protect her. And then he has this crazy ass cult that wants the girl for who knows for what reason. Issue number three definitely definitely was great it gave you the satisfaction that i've been waiting for i've been waiting for cold spots to get off its ass and stop being so damn slow and the payoff was great so have you guys read cold spots and did you guys stick on for issue number three if so 
what'd you guys think about it? Let me know down below. My name is David Lee, and I love talking about comics. I'll be talking about comics here on YouTube, and hopefully you guys will be sticking along, get going, uh, subscribe, comment, let me know what you've been reading. As always, my name is David Lee, and I'll see you guys next time.